This is Abia COVID-19 update. Abia COVID-19 update. COVID-19 is real and you should stay safe. I will keep uh, reminding you of the precautionary measures. So it's very important. Uh, frequently, wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. Very, very important. When soap and uh, running water are unavailable, use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol. Avoid touching your eyes, your nose or mouth with unwashed hands practice good respiratory etiquette including covering your coughs and sneezes avoid close contact with people who are sick uh, don't go out if you're feeling sick or have any cold or flu symptoms very very important also and also stay at least six feet that's a two meters away from people cover your mouth with a tissue or the inside of your elbow whenever you sneeze or cough very very important and you can also walk into your local government area headquarters. There is a massive community testing presently uh, ongoing in all the 17 local government areas of Abia State and testing is free. You can also call the 247 uh, toll-free uh, line of the Abia Telehealth Initiative 0700-2242-2362. Uh, 0700 -2242 well as the number of confirmed covid 19 infections in nigeria increases contact tracing of patients in communities is becoming more difficult for health officials as persons to assist contact tracers due to a fear or stigma uh, you know uh, missing right now because current covid 19 outbreak has provoked social stigma and discriminatory behaviors against people with confirmed case we've seen people even call on radio stations demanding names and locations of confirmed patients it is understandable that there is confusion anxiety and fear among the public but unfortunately this can result in more severe health problems and difficulties controlling a disease outbreak drive people to hide their illness to avoid discrimination prevent people from seeking health care immediately discourage them from adopting healthy behaviors but we'll take a look at uh, stigma this morning and some other issues concerning covid 19. this is abia state covid 19 update the last edition for the month of july 2020. my name is michael Oni. On this program, we highlight daily reports of the Interministerial Committee on the Control of COVID-19 in Abia State and also the Governor's efforts, uh, Dr. Okezie Ipazu's uh, efforts in ensuring that the state is safe from the virus. This program is running simultaneously Mondays through Fridays on several radio stations in the state. BCA 88.1 FM, Flow 94.9 FM, Vision Africa Radio 104.1 FM, Buzz 89.7 FM and Real 99. 9.1 FM. Well, I will give you the figures and the updates later on this morning, uh, but uh, that will be uh, after the first time out on the program. But one of the biggest impediments to the fight against COVID-19 is a lack of belief in the existence of the virus vis-a-vis -vis alleged government's handling of the information. Well, if you're still doubting, we have taken another step towards convincing, convincing you on the existence of the virus. Yes, we had the governor uh, come out, that's uh, Dr. Okeze Pazu, come out to tell his story. But going further, we have another COVID-19 champion. He's very much in the studio with me this morning. Of course, uh, he speaks uh, for uh, a higher institution right here in Abia State. Of course, the spokesperson of uh, Gregory University, Uturu. He's a senior colleague and also a renowned broadcaster. So I will call him a senior while you will call him uh, Mr. Sleek. Uh, Sleek Ogbunaya Ogwo. Good morning to you this morning on Abia State COVID-19 update. Good morning, uh, Michael Ani. Thanks uh, for having me. Oh, good to have you join us this morning. You're a COVID-19 champion. Yes, I am benefiting from my own personal experience. And, Interesting. Um, that enables me to uh, be uh, somebody that can talk boldly on that uh, very uh, bad, uh, subject. I can boldly say from my own personal experience, yes, that I'm a champion. Interesting. Of, uh, yeah, That's I'm campaign. so happy for you. Firstly, how does it feel <coughs> coming out to tell your story? Well, actually, I think it, it has to do with... Uh, the person's uh, personal background um, if you're somebody who has the kind of background that I have then um, you want to believe that everything that happens to you is not just for happenstance it just didn't happen 
it must have happened for a particular reason and for me some of those things that happened to me are actually lecture notes mm -hmm. which i must share with students so <laughs> so actually what happened to me i see it as something that i need to use to also begin to enlighten people about uh, the veracity of the very challenge that we're having right now and so that's how i see what happened to me okay i, I will take you uh, on your experiences and how you got to know uh, that you had covid and um, the reactions the immediate reactions of your family member uh, members later on this morning on the program let's uh, quickly run through the figures and also updates of the coronavirus globally global number of deaths stands at uh, 677,017 that's as at uh, 8 a.m today meanwhile the total number of infections worldwide is at 17 million 489,179. Also, the number of recovered cases is at uh, 10,951,895. The United States has become the worst affected country with more than 4.4 million diagnosed cases and at least 152,000 55 deaths. The World Health Organization Chief Tedros Ghebreyesus has said surges in the number of uh, number of new COVID-19 cases in some countries were driven partly by young people letting down their guard, uh, but that the world needed to learn to live with this disease. And that's according to WHO. And uh, yesterday, Nigeria recorded announced 481 new cases of COVID-19, bringing the total number of infections in the country to 42,000. 689 uh, the 481 new cases were recorded in 17 states in the country now let me get back to mr slick uh, telling his story how he survived covid 19 at what point did you suspected that you had covid yes actually i i think uh, so many people are going through similar experience right now okay um i, I was down with bouts of uh, malaria and typhoid and of course uh, the doctors prescribed um, the drugs that we're familiar with and um, after bouquets of treatment about four bouquets four times you know treating, of treating malaria, malaria and, and typhoid, typhoid you know okay i saw that i wasn't getting any better it got to a point that um i was getting weaker and weaker and um it was prescribed by the medical personnel that i should do infusion and all that and i began infusion but I still saw that I was still having the same symptoms of uh, fever, chills, uh, bitter mouth, and of course, um, I was not beginning to have difficulty breathing. Oh, really? So at that yeah, point, um, I conferred with my medical doctors and they were like, um, well, you need to now go to the hospital. And I went to the hospital. I went to FMC. They said, go to FMC. We got to FMC. And then we looked around the environment and... Uh, it appeared as if there was this uh, fear, you know, hanging in the air. And that was a Saturday. And then um, we advised ourselves again, say, why don't we confront this thing boldly? Let's go to Amatra. Let's go and find out what is really going on. Okay. And then um, I had somebody drive me in my vehicle to Amatra. And we got there. And um, we were able to benefit from the testing services and... Um, you know graciously that same day the result came out okay that's because we have uh, uh, a laboratory in abia state so yes um that was in the morning that the samples were taken and then by evening i was uh, called and told that my result came out positive and i needed to come into isolation at that course, point at that point that you <coughs> got uh, to know your result how did you feel how did i feel i mean i, I felt like i needed help i mean you didn't uh, panic no nope. It is not a death sentence. Like okay. I said at the beginning, you need, you need to know the background you're coming from. I uh, haven't had so much information about uh, the disease called uh, uh, COVID-19. I knew it's not a death sentence. I knew that definitely the mortality rate we're having in recent times yeah, is not yes. so high. And I knew that uh, it's something that you just need to submit yourself for the necessary therapy and you come out from it. So that's what happened at that time. We submit, I submitted myself for isolation from that day and i went through the period of isolation and came out uh, negative at the end of it all that's what happened okay the period of uh, that you got to the isolation center and uh, the period you came out of the isolation center how many days uh, well the normal thing is 14 days and um, we went through all that season 
and at the end of it all uh, submitted ourselves a samples for another testing process and uh, this time it came out negative and then we were released to go tell us your experience while you uh while in the isolation center well uh the isolation center is another world of its own you are definitely isolated from goings on around the um, media personnel and so many people will have missed some of the things some of the content i will have uh, dished out at that time but they didn't know what was going on i was in this quiet place and receiving uh, treatment morning and evening my vital signs being taken by the medical personnel in that place who are by the way are very 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 courteous and very nice interesting uh, yes they are and uh, very dutiful uh, as uh, that that they are much uh, much precisely uh, precisely center. precisely up till now i maintain a healthy relationship with them i call them i say uh, they asked me how you doing i saw one of them yesterday and he wanted to find out how you doing now so I'm, I'm, I'm better so um it's a period of medication what happens there is that uh, they watch your vital signs to monitor your progress and if there's any challenge they'll now know what to do to ensure that uh, you leave that place better than you came interesting i will like you run you to run through um uh, the doubts you know what you make of the doubts uh, by some members of the public but let's take a breather now it is still obvious that covid19 update and of course uh, we've been speaking with the covid19 champion right here in abia state managed in abia state as the amateur isolation center and of course uh, he tested negative at the end of the day uh, mr slick uh, that's what i know him as uh, virtue he's a uh, slick obonaya obo a senior colleague and a renowned broadcaster it is abia state covid 19 update live on several radio stations in this state abia state this is abia covid 19 update abia covid 19 update All right, it is still Abia State COVID-19 update and we're still to talking to Mr. Slick uh, very much in the studio, a COVID-19 champion. And, uh, well, Mr. Slick, I would like to take you through uh, the disbelief among our people, especially here in Abia. But we're so concerned about the situation in Abia State. We still have this disbelief among the members of the public not taking this virus serious as it should be. It's a pandemic ravaging the world and there are protocols highlighted by the who protocols put in place by the ncdc protocols put in place by the abia state government but we still see people going around without their face mask people going around like it's a normal thing but there is a new normal in town i don't know how you want to react to this being a champion of this disease well i, I, I want to look at it from uh, the complete picture of the nigerian environment mm actually in nigeria now you have a situation where uh, policies of government are being uh, uh, doubted by the public oftentimes you see that when a government agent pronounces a particular policy people will see it from the point of view of the fact that it benefits the government agent they don't see it from the point of view that that inform they, they, they don't want to believe that very information oftentimes you see somebody as big as the minister of information saying something they say ah how can i take something from that guy i can't believe him so now in communication the source of the information is very very important mm. when you discover that uh, information trickling down from a particular source is not being received then you try another strategy and that's what i've been preaching ever since you try another strategy and which is and which is uh, for, for some time what you do is if for instance um, uh, when we had the HIV problem in Nigeria, for instance, and uh, people were af afraid of uh, all kinds of things, they were not believing the government, uh, you know, pa uh, parachutes of information. What the, the government did was to begin to collaborate with funding agencies from outside. You had, you had, you had things like USAID. They came out with massive campaigns and uh, they, they were creative campaigns that were adapted for our people to buy into and believe. Now, I'm not saying that we're not doing much. I'm saying that we should do much more now in terms of uh, creating avenues of disseminating this information that will enable our people buy in into the information. Okay, the, 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 the result is this. Whenever you send out an information, it's only considered successful 
when the recipient of the information begins to do what you want him to do but that's not the situation we that's have what i'm ground. saying that is, it simply means that we have to go, go, go back again and check how we are sending for the information why is it that we are making so much noise if i should use that we, we are communicating and yet the people don't seem to understand or don't seem to buy into what we are, we are saying so we need to go back again and investigate how we are doing this i believe that if we can begin to think about more creative ways of engaging the people for instance okay the governor said something very vital yesterday at the stakeholders meeting i was talking about finding ways to reach our people through the communities getting to their traditional rulers to hold town hall meetings and through such channels first of all you need to uh, uh, equip the traditional rulers with the necessary information they need to have break it down to uh market leaders in the marketplaces and let them have the requested information so that they can as well assemble the traders and disseminate this information from the point of view of the language that they can understand and the creative ways that they will see this thing as being real so i'm saying that we need to do more in the area of communication vitally so as to sell this message to the people that is one of the reasons why the people are not believing our story now uh people uh, i believe uh, you will be uh, in the best position to tell us about the vital signs and symptoms that uh, sh we should look out for especially as far as covid 19 is concerned it, you know many persons in my opinion i believe uh, they've even recovered from this covid 19 staying at home without even coming outside but that's very risky when you are treating yourself you don't know the ailment affecting you at home and uh, you are uh, transmitting such to others unknowingly in the name of self-medication so i would like you to take us through well, uh, we're just dealing the... with the, the letter part of your question okay uh, the, the the area of uh, you sitting back at home and then treating yourself i want to uh, discourage that as much as possible mm -hmm. why because of the fact that um, it is very very dangerous uh, it is a situation that, uh, well, of course, will predispose you to, you know, being uh, uh, a carrier onto so many other persons. Asymptomatic sometimes. Yes. Yeah, so you, 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 the best thing that anybody should do once you affirm positivity of this very element is to isolate in the isolation center, not in your own place, because now in the isolation center, <laughs> the people there cannot come to you without the complete PPEs. Mm. okay so I, I don't know when you isolate in your own space whether the people that come to you to give you medication to give you food and all that whether to they will also wear complete i'm talking about full gear from head to toes they are fully covered and they come to you and they attend to you they check your vital stand you mentioned what what are they looking at they're looking at your your blood pressure they're looking at your your breathing the blood the movement of blood within your system or that they're checking the percentage of that flow of blood in your system they're trying to find out whether things are normal with you also they're considering the fact that you might have some pre-existing conditions you might be hypertensive you might be diabetic and they're also checking if these things are going to worsen the situation and they're bringing the, you know they're checking giving you drugs for all those things at the same time so i just think that anybody that has symptoms you suspect to be associated with covid the best thing you need to do is go and uh, do the test which is free which is free go do the test and if it turns out negative for mm. goodness sake you you can go home and treat malaria and typhoid or whatever it is but, not but, if, COVID. but if it is positive the best thing you should do for yourself and society i repeat for yourself and society for yourself and your family members is to go to a matura and isolate yourself i hear that so many people well 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 to do people prefer to sit at home and get treated there uh, the danger is that you might receive treatment there but you don't know whom you're passing this thing on to while doing so so the mm. best thing is for that season isolate yourself at the isolation center i would like this conversation to, to be a two-way conversation let's uh, throw the lines open we have uh, less than two minutes to wrap up the program this morning i'll be a state covid 19 update let's take uh, one two questions uh, before we wrap up the program this morning the program is live on several radio stations in the states 0808 182 6949 or 0811 
0905-205-2949. Also, drop messages on 0906-510-8289. 0808 or 0811-605-2949. It is Abia State COVID-19 update. Good morning to you. Okay, we lost that. Hello, good morning. You're live on radio. Good morning to you. Hello, good morning to you. Yeah, good morning. Yes, good morning. What's your name? Akonia. Okay, quickly, you have 30 seconds, please. Thank you. Yes, he is saying that to isolate but I want to say something here. If the governor started by going to Amatara, they are usually that they are going to others will follow him. If our own governor is seated in Abuja, in his own house in Abuja, why are you not saying the reformers is to go to Amatara? Thank you very much. All right. Hello, good morning to you. Yes. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning, Michael. Welcome. You have 30 seconds, please. Good morning. My name is Sam. Can you change your location good so morning, that we can sir. have a better reception? Well, very poor reception there. I will have to let you go. Sorry about that. Hello, good morning to you. We lost that also. Just one for the road before we wrap up the program this morning. Hello, good morning to you. Hello. Good morning. Hello, good Hello. morning. I guess it seems uh, we will not be able to take uh, uh, get reactions on the phone line, sir, because of the bad network. Hello, good morning. H- Hello, good morning. Yes, quickly, you have 30 seconds. What's your name? My name is Emmanuel Ezindo. I'm calling from Omaya. All right, Emmanuel, what's your contribution? I want to ask that um, COVID 19 champion. The people that took care of him, both his drivers and the people that took him and taking care of him, did, did not isolate them. Okay, he's asking. Yeah, yeah, Emmanuel, if, uh, I, got, I got a question. Okay. Yeah, normally, what happens is that once you test positive, there's contact tracing, and the people around you at that particular time are also by. Uh, by necessity are asked to go through the tests and uh, in my own case they tested negative okay so those are the first uh, uh, the, the somebody co- asked about governor and league and, and abuja and all that and yes. i'm saying why don't you be selfish about your own problem uh, if the man uh, for some reason uh, had to go somewhere else to get uh, treated you yourself do you have the ability to go to new york or go elsewhere to get treated government has provided a place and it says the place is free why don't you just go there everything is given to you, including food is given to you free for 14 days why don't you just go there for your own sake and for the sake of members of your family all right i really want to appreciate your time time will not permit to continue the program this morning many thanks uh, to the partner radio stations of bca fm flow fm Buzz FM, Real FM, and Vision Africa Radio. Uh, Mr. Slick, thank you very much. In fact, uh, I know uh, it's a very big decision coming out to tell the public that you once tested positive to coronavirus and now you're negative. That subject, actually. Okay. Uh, so many people are living in denial. Okay. And that is very, very wrong. The issue is that um, it is not, the governor said it in his own pronouncement, that it's not a death sentence. Mm. If you go through the experience and you come out from there, first of all, you give thanks to God that you passed through an ailment and you came out successful. Second of which is it becomes a preaching post for you to tell other people who doubt the uh, believability, who doubt the existence of such an ailment, that it's actually that I went through it. You know, Jesus said to Thomas, come and touch me here. (laughs) You know, if you're still doubting, come and see. Um. I am somebody who survived it is possible for somebody to survive it first of all it's possible for somebody to contact it it's possible to survive it okay. if you do what the government has pronounced as protocols you'll be able to so then final thing uh, i just okay. want to say the okay. final thing okay. is the fact that on the strength of that you can become a campaigner 
Okay. Trying to convince people about the Co need. Coronavirus. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. And my name is Michael Oni. Stay safe and take responsibility. This is Abia COVID-19 update. Abia COVID-19 update.